In this video, we'll show you how to resolve a conflict using the Online Conflict Resolution feature. We will trigger a conflict on the Account Behavior class, whose purpose is to set a default behavior in an Accounts. From the Production Environment, navigate to Setup, and open the Apex class to see how it looks right now. Nice! As part of your next release, this class should include two new methods in order to set a default URL and phone for accounts. Dave has been working in the Dev1 environment, where he has added set default phone method. To record the changes, he has committed the account behavior class, test and trigger in a user story. Scroll down to the user story selections to verify that the committed metadata components are there. Perfect! As a release manager, you promote and deploy the user story to the next environment. Now, the INT environment has both methods, the set default behavior and the new set default phone. Meanwhile, in the Dev2 environment, Debbie has modified the account behavior class to incorporate the set default URL method and she has committed her changes in a user story. It's time to move Debbie's user story to INT. As you did previously, you select the Promote and Deploy checkbox in her user story. As you have seen in the module, if there's a conflict within the same lines in a class, Capato applies the resolution mechanism A wins over B. In this scenario, this wouldn't be the best approach, as Dave's changes would be overwritten. So let's make use of the Online Conflict Resolution feature to manually resolve the conflict. As expected, Capato detects a conflict between Debbie's feature branch and Dave's version in INT, so Capato stops the merge of the feature branch into the promotion branch. In the promotion page, a warning message is displayed on top of the page to notify you of the conflict. Capato also alerts you of the conflict by sending you an email. Before we get any further, let's make sure that Apex class and trigger are selected as exclude from auto resolve in our pipeline. Well done! Now let's go back to the promotion page to review and resolve the conflict. Click on Review Merge Conflicts to review the conflict. On the next screen, you can see that the Account Behavior class and Trigger are listed on the conflicted files. Click on Resolve manually to fix the conflicting lines. Here you can switch between one, two, or three panels to easily navigate through the code and fix the conflicts. Remove the markers and merge the code to resolve the conflict while including both changes, Dave's and Debbie's methods. Once you're done, click on Save. Now let's do the same with the Apex Trigger. Good job! Now, click on Create Deployment to resume the promotion process, and click on Submit. Since no conflicts have been reported this time, a new deployment record is created, and the feature branch is merged into the new promotion branch. Remember that the class file and trigger incorporated into this promotion branch is the version resulting from the manual conflict resolution. In addition, the Smart Auto Resolve feature will save the solution and will reuse it the next time it encounters the same conflict. Well done! You have completed the steps to successfully resolve conflicts using the Online Conflict Resolution feature.